I think that is it. Um, it. Also, yeah, wow. <laughs> you okay with that? <laughs> I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Happy night. Today we're going to be showing you our top six base locations depending on what area you're in. So this is going to be a little bit of a beginner's guide. So people that are going to be starting off the game for the very, very first time, we're going to be showing you exactly where we believe is the best locations. Now this is obviously down to personal preference. Not everyone's going to like our opinions and our, our locations, but this is where we think would be the best place for everyone to start in each zone. So we're going to start with the very first one, and that's going to be in the... Dayton, uh, Dayton Wetlands. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't say it for a second. There. <laughs> Dayton Wetlands. So this is where we are on the map at the moment. We're along the water. There's a little creek that sort of runs all the way through down to the ocean. And we're very, very close to the uh, Densville Markets. Now, the markets are a really good place to be near because this is where you'll be getting most of your wall tasks and everything from. But you also see around here, there's going to be a lot of these little blue tasks. And these ones are really good to do in... I guess alongside the world tasks because they generally lead in the same general area. You're going to be doubling your XP. You're going to be doubling your, um, basically your, your money that you've been getting as well. So this is why we think this is a good idea. Now this area is really, really, really rich with all sorts of minerals. The main things you're going to be using at this sort of level, which is your low level, obviously, is your copper, your tin, your stone. There's also plenty of opportunities to do some fishing around here because they there is a lot of fish along here. There's a lot of herbs, little plants. You got, um, I don't know, wheat, herbs. <laughs> herbs. It's, her <laughs> it's herbs. <laughs> um, it's just got an itch. I hear you. Yeah, it's a herb. Lots and lots of uh, wheat, uh, corn, all sorts of stuff like that. So I think this is a good little area. Plus the water's always good to be long. It looks nicer. And if you don't have any facilities to start, like gathering rainwater or purifying water. You'll get your dirty water here, you take it back to your stove and you're ready to go. Anything else you'd like to add, Jax? I think you covered most of it. Um, the direction that I'm I'm looking, my character is, there's a road there that is really convenient, but luckily it is far enough that you can build and not have it uh, scream at you for building too close to the road. Mm. Yeah, I think this is a really nice, well-rounded spot. Yeah. Another good thing about it is it is generally pretty flat. Now, it's hard to find areas in this entire game that has flat spots. You you have to compromise a little bit, but this one is not too bad, all things considered. When you're starting your first territory, it's going to be quite small anyway. You can expand from there. You can move it up and down, all that sort of stuff. But right here, pretty flat, lots of resources. This is why we think this is going to be one of your best locations to start. All right, All right next here we have Broken Delta. Uh, we've chosen this spot because it's actually close to where we built around like level 20. Um, it has a lot going for it for one, since we like to build, it's pretty flat. Um, you have in this direction, you've got some trees and a lot of different uh, rocks for ores and just gravel in general. And then as far as the water, this is pretty cool. It's lucky <laughs> if you're going to be cooking at all. So right about here, we have just the regular dirty water that you can make into something potable. And then if you just go a teeny bit down this way, let me see what at the point. I think it's past this rock here. You actually get seawater mm. and you're going to need that salt. There you go. So you've got a really central location to the different types of liquids you're going to need as you go through. Definitely. Um, yeah. Oh, and then there's a, a pretty thriving uh, rabbit population, which is good for meats, for um, some of the tasks they have you do, like taking pictures, um, and of course, all the different recipes, you're going to need something a little bit different mm. for each. Am I missing anything? Not really. I think you covered pretty much everything. Um, yeah, the rabbits are a really cool thing. They only yield one bit of meat per... Obviously, mm. they're, they're small. Um, not far away, I think. I'm not sure if you mentioned, but there's a whole bunch of deer just in that general direction over there. Uh, another oh, yeah. cool thing about this area, I'll quickly show everyone on the map exactly where we are. So we're right down the very bottom of the map, basically, in the Broken Delta area. 
Um, so along here is actually all really, really nice if you want to set up bases along the beach line as well. It doesn't have to be in this little area. We just like this area because when it's not foggy, it just looks really nice. Um, what's yeah. also really cool about this area is if you're going to be looking to get any oil, if you want to set up base, right up here where my cursor is, there's a, um, a nice little oil spot there. Not far from here as well, you've got Myers Mark. It's like less than a kilometer away. Obviously, you can teleport, so you don't have to worry about running too much, but it's there. Lots of little rifts around here, a great little area in general, mainly for the aesthetic is why we chose here when we we're around the level 20, I think it was, eh? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think it was... I, I liked it. We were there for probably the longest period of time out of anywhere we've been so far in this game. Yeah. Because we tend to move a fair bit. But we always move with the game, and that's sort of what we're going to be trying to show everyone, is you're not going to be staying in the same location every single time. So as you progress up, right now, if you're in the Broken Delta area, you're going to be between 15 and 20, I want to say, or 12 and 20, give or take. Uh, yeah. Before you, you know, it allows you to come into this area, but obviously by doing that, you need to do all the little um, riff anchors or the little side missions, all that sort of stuff first to be strong enough basically to come into this area because if you ever try going into an area that you're not ready to go, you know exactly how hard it's going to be to stay in that area. When we first, <laughs> we're, I'll show everyone at the very, very uh, end our current location and why I'm telling you it's so difficult. But we're going to move over to the next one. Alrighty, so the next area we're going to be looking at is the Iron River region. So this one is uh, around level 20 upwards. So level 21, this area that I'm in at the moment. Perfect little location because you're right next to the um, Grey Water Camp. You've got tons of river nearby. And the best part about this area is you're going to be needing iron. Now, not right this, like not right here, but if you go a little bit further up the river and start heading in towards the Red Sands area, you're going to find a lot of iron and you're going to really need it. Because that's where this, that's basically the stage you're going to be up to. But we like this area. I like this area in particular. And I know for a fact James loved this area because of the scenery and how good it looks. Relatively flat. As long as you're not too close to roads or any other sort of um, buildings like that, you're gonna you're gonna love it here. It's I don't know. It's just beautiful. I think it looks really nice. One of the best parts mm -hmm. of the game. It looks like Australia to me. The whole red rocks, oh, yeah? the trees, all that sort of stuff. Kind of reminds me of Australia. That's probably huh. why I like it so much. Oh, do you see that? Yeah. I was just thinking that. I'm going to have a see. quick look at that. We probably need to go up on the bridge. Let's nope. see. We're just going to go and follow the water, I guess. Okay. Hey, cool. What I wish they had boats. I really oh. wish they had boats here. Yeah. Nice. I had some stardust in there too. I really needed that. <laughs> I can't Man, work that they well. They have to have. I, I can't see them going without boats for a while. Yeah, but a lot of games just seem to struggle with it. it. Games seems to struggle Water with physics. boats. Yeah, it must be. But how different can it be really to the road or, you know, cars and stuff like that? Well, well we saw the uh, waterfall up. Uh, true, where was that? True, true. As the uh, chalk area, whatever it is, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. The chalk area, that was actually a really nice place as well. We'll get to that in a second. But once again, this is probably along this river, anywhere along this river, is probably where you want to be. Now this, when it first started and we were progressing through the levels and moving around here and everything like that. Damn you, I was going to get that. Um, <laughs> this was chockers. You could not find a single place to lay a plot or your, your territory. There's a bus up here too. That's a fun word. Which one? Did you say chalkers? Chalkers, yeah. Huh. Completely See, I full. learned something every day with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I learn Australian words. Let's get us a little bus. Oh, a little bus free. I don't know if we can get oh, another nope. one. No, we can't know. because we've already done it today. Damn. Uh, That's it. Well, it's letting me do it. Is it? And I got the last one. Yeah. Ooh. Hang on, let me Sir, this is a different bus. Oh, you're oh. right. It is too. It just wasn't lit up for some reason. I just thought it didn't work. All right, cool. You it's... gotta keep trying. Oh, swing and a miss. So yeah, that's our. That's our. I reckon this is a good little area. Anywhere along the water, if you're near the camp, that's even better. Let's move over to mm -hmm. the next one. All right. So we have here Chalk Peak. This is the place where I was living most recently. 
we have a lot of stuff to get excited about at this point in the game. You've got enough in the way of trees without there being so many you can't even like move. There's deer everywhere. You have to be careful for the wolves. <laughs> there, there's a few of those, some places more than others, but I would say definitely the benefits uh, greatly outweigh a few wolves. Um, I've seen silver uh, appear here with with pretty good frequency. I would say more often than I had in any other location that we built. Mm. Um, oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> There's the, uh, the one of the wolves. E yeah, the wolf. I already killed the other one. <laughs> I hate him. All right. When I was living here, yeah, they were just a yeah. pest, a nuisance. Now, if you mm -hmm. if you're here on this part of the um, land, you're fine. If you're going across the other bit over here, across the little bit of the river here, and you set up camp there, as basically their den, and they will spawn oh, inside really? your house. Remember, James was always complaining about. I his... was wondering. Yeah, I was wondering what was different. I with don't know, him, but there's but... <laughs> this area here riddled with wolves, and there's not just one or two. It's it's like. I don't know, five, six of them, and they always just come and attack you. Mm. So, yeah, not that side, if you're going to build. Uh, another thing that I appreciated when I lived here is if you had this direction, there's a tiny little, like, lab or facility uh, with some Rosetta uh, personnel there, and you can find a few crates. There are uh, a couple of dumpsters. And uh, you can find, you know, odds and ends over there mm. that you can break down and get raw materials for. Uh, and then, of course, a couple of cars where you can get some fuel. Uh, I liked being able to come over here every time I loaded in, <laughs> pick up the crates again, get a little bit of XP. That's it. This is great. There's, I think there's around four, I want to say about four crates in this whole facility. Which is really, really small, but you only have like, I don't know, four or five guys that you gotta, you know, oh, yeah. attack. And they're they're nothing because they don't even notice you half the time, I swear. Mm -hmm. But heaps of heaps of cool stuff around here. I loved it. Every like Jack said, every time we would leave somewhere or come into the game, you'll come back here and there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's one of the storage crates here. Oh, I'm getting targeted. You're getting targeted. Okay. Ah. Uh, well. But yeah, inside there and on the roof, there are some as well. There's one there. And all these desk drawers have a whole bunch of stuff in as well. Thank you. Might as well get all the bits and oh, pieces yeah, while we Oh yeah, don't sleep on that. Yeah. It took me the longest time before I actually started opening up all the cabinets. Yeah. I, I never really paid attention Not to it either. Not here necessarily, but <laughs> they look like set dressing and you don't even like get the little indicator up until, you know, you're getting kind of close. Oh, I'm getting heavy. <laughs> I'm going to need to go back home and unload after yeah. a little bit. Oh, hey, hey dude. Hey, how are you? Oh, just winged him. How did you miss? Yeah. I think I got his hand or something. But that's the yeah. uh, that's the, the Chalk um, Peaks region. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Also, not too far away, but once again, you're going to be teleporting at this point. And you got the tall grass in to get all your um, missions and everything like that as well. I like the look of this area because, especially if you're setting up camp around the waterfall area. Now, the waterfall looks garbage, but the scenery, <laughs> the scenery from it. It's, it's not a lie. It's beautiful. You get over that edge around there. It is phenomenal. Now, this place used to be quite, I wouldn't say heavy with people, but have you noticed all these old places that we have been, right? There's no one around anymore. Right. Maybe just in our server because... You know, everyone by now has probably progressed to level 50 and you know, moved away mm -hmm. from here. Everywhere around where we are now is sort of where everyone's going, but we'll get there in a second. Let's move over to the next area. And now we're in the Red Sands region. So this is where we're currently located. We're actually not too far away from the, uh, what do you call it, Blackfell? Mm -hmm. The uh, markets around here. This is only new. We only just moved here like yesterday. So, but I, I've spent a lot of time up here and I know exactly where everything is, which is awesome. The ultimate place, the <laughs> ultimate place to live. Now, 
I know it's a bit dry and deserty looking. Some people may like that, especially if you live in like parts of like Arizona and stuff like that. But I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate the look of it. It's not green, but it is the best place to be for your tungsten, your gold, your silver, all your little minerals, all your little bits and pieces like that. And we just moved here. Jack's just moved here as well. It kind of yesterday for you. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I think. Yeah, around that. <laughs> Give or take. Just moved here not long ago. You got everything. Like, this place has a bus that usually comes up here um, and stops directly in front of our place. Sits there, waits for you to shoot it before it just gives its goodies. So Today much. Today my guest at my house. Today, for some reason, he's glitched out, parked over there by Jax's <laughs> place. And I don't know why, but he won't budge. You shoot him, and he won't do anything. He's just fully camped there. Don't know why. I guess he likes no. your house. I know. It was great. It was Chris's idea, basically. So much tungsten. <laughs> so much tungsten around here. It's not even funny. You know what else is really cool? If you decide to go across the way there, you got some oil patches. Where you can actually mine oil. <laughs> or mine? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> drill, baby. Drill. drill. That'll do drill for some oil you got a few little patches this is one of them it's probably one of the bigger place uh ones around here uh there's another one oh yeah there's like a whole vein of it going up here Ooh. so that's definitely going to help a lot of people that are mining um or sorry drilling for oil what else we got um obviously the rifts and everything like that are really cool around here you're getting to that level now we're level 50 we've pretty much maxed what we can until the next season and then hopefully mm -hmm. you can progress from there. Oh no, it resets your your level, doesn't it? The next season. Yep. Yeah, bugger. Mm -hmm. That's alright. I guess we work on it all over again. What I was gonna you say can. around here, so much gold. So if you make if you want to make some money, this is the area to be. Too much gold. I want to quickly show you another area. I don't know if it's actually really noteworthy, but James just moved down here. This is like the next area that's going to be opening when season two comes. This is going to be the next area that opens here for you. He's ready to basically go. Hmm. Uh, should we pop over there real quick and show him what we're talking about? Might be the best option. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, so may as well. Okay. And we're back in the Chalk Peak region. Now, this is like far, far, far away from where we were originally. This place is phenomenal because you need a high populated area when you're looking to mine or salvage, maybe it's probably a better word, um, acid. Okay. This is the place to be. Terrible, terrible place to live because it looks like garbage, but if you want <laughs> acid, and if you really want some um, uh, source, what is it, not source? Um, uh, star star source, I believe. Star yes. source, yeah. Star source iron, iron, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We're going to have to look that up, dude. It's all. It's, all. it's everywhere around here. It is absolutely <laughs> everywhere around here. You can't skip a beat. The only place, only thing this place doesn't have in the way of uh, minerals or ores is gold. That's the only thing. But if you're coming here, you need stardust or star or whatever you call it. This is the place to be. Look at it all. I'm just, just looking around. There's like tons of it. So, Jax, yeah. this is where you need to go if you need to make some. Uh-huh. There's Definitely. just so much. Now, the only thing you're going to be terrified around here is if you thought wolves and bears were bad, this is way worse. These things will kill you so quickly. Doesn't matter how strong you are, they will take you I out. I don't even see them. I'm nowhere near you, come so... Up. Oh, if you come to me... There they are. Oh, shit. Oh. He, he spotted me. Oh. I'm coming. Oh, no, he's going after a deer. It's like a mutated bear oh. thing. And they... Man, they can hard. You man, <laughs> They hit hard, and they're hard to kill. Come on, get Holy out. Moly. Ah, shit. Ooh, just dodged Corrupted. that one. He got paid off by lobbyists. I see, I see. They take Woo. a few rounds to take out, but they're vicious, and they come out of nowhere. But really good for mining, really good for gathering materials and stuff like that. Nothing in the way of um, rifts or anything in this area. 
but it will be very useful. Like if you go a little bit further down where my cursor is around here, it's not populated and it looks really, really nice. But this is the place to be if you want to get acid and tons of it. If you want to drop some acid. Drop some acid. And then once this opens up, you swim across and then you're in the next area. And that's yep. going to do it for the uh, top six base locations. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful in some sort of way. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you've got a better location, let us know. We're in the Discord as well. The link is up the top next to all the details that you need to know anyway. Hit us up in the Discord. <laughs> Come join us. Have a bit of fun with us if you want. We've got a lot of good people in there that you know love to hang out and just play. I think that's about it. What do you reckon? I think that is it. I think um, it. Also, yeah, wow. You okay with that? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Happy days. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That'll be awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.